Hello and welcome, this is STR Inc. and today I'm going to play some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Alright, so where are we left off? I think it, it's feeling like it might be time to do another main quest line quest. Let's go in here and check out what we have going on. I have Fire and Vice and Speak with Sebastian and Undercroft. Um, I think I'll do that. Because that sounds um, a little bit more like it won't go deep into the main story. So let's see. Oh, hmm. I forget what the fastest way to the Undercroft is. Maybe that's it? Oh, this is the one I saw I found. Hmm. Let's warp here and see if we can find it. There we go. Maybe we'll find it soon. That's a good reminder, I haven't got my OBS mute fixed yet. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Had to mute for just a minute. I've always let's go ahead and see where we're going. The mind. Hopefully I've got everything set here, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and run, run, run. <coughs> oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. I'm surprised I didn't discover this. Rebellion. Ah, there it is a page. Central Hall Fountain, this ornate fountain, features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Well, nice. I'm going to use the main Undercroft entrance. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, 
From what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Whoa, what disappeared over there? I am not letting this go. Well, I'm pretty sure you're going to, buddy. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. <laughs> You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Okay, now where do we go? I assume I'm just supposed to exit. Let's back to that little animation of turning around. It's like this is important to making an exit. You gotta be dramatic. So I'm supposing I'm just supposed to wait now. Let's look on our quest. Hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and track this. Okay, time to go meet Poppy. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making. 
at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after High Wing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Okay. More secret keeping. Lots of secret keeping. But there are a few memes out there for uh, all the. You can, I'll keep quiet about your secrets when it comes to this game. <laughs> Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. How's Apple now? Oh, he nope. was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Come on, I want to zap some things. Hey, there we go. I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Well, I mean, that was pretty messed up watching a dugbog drag your thing into the water. Messed up. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Give me the money. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Oh, drink to poacher hooch. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. Pelt. Poor beasts. Oh, look, there's actually a little Rebellion. treasure over here. Let's go grab it. Nice. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Hmm. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. I want to check the map, see where we're at. Oh, okay. I guess this is just some territory I've flown over and don't Definitely really recognize yet. No creatures, though. So, what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. I think we'll start off with a few hits of this solution. I wouldn't give to be a demigod right now. 
I think it would be fun to uh, get two or three of them. You know, I know I can take them in a big group. Just for the challenge, we'll try to get a couple of them. Rally behind strength and you can't go wrong. <laughs> we may have an intruder in our midst. Die, die, die. Hmm. Funny enough, that guy is on the right path. He's so angry he didn't find me. We'll go get him in just a second. Where did little Miss Poppy go? Which way is this guy turned? Okay, he's on alert, so we might not be able to get him. Merlin, you think they were guarding the minister for magic himself? What is going on here? <laughs> Only one way to find out. See what challenge we finished. It's a combat. Seventy dark wizards. Well, sweet. Protego shielding two. Oh, actually, I have another challenge I've completed. I backed out a little too quickly there. Uh, let's see. I wonder if it was just the new one. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. It's a little frustrating that they mark that as a uh, new thing instead of just marking the ones that you have finished, you know? Enter the tent. Revenue. It's funny they would just arrive here in their little chariots and just leave their money all flopped out on the ground. <laughs> Alright. It's like, yeah, just throw your money on the ground. It'll be okay. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Okay. That's it. I bet it's the word. Mm. Revelio. Yeah, go check it out. I don't want sinking straight in a bug. There's no talus. Revelio. Let's go see if we can have a peek at these dragons, funny. Well, you really seem to be going at it. Let's see what's over here. So we probably want to go back this way first, if we can. 
of any of them. Oh, it looks like we can't. So we gotta go this way. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want! Sickens me to work along this town. Before I find you, I heard something. Hmm. This guy's running all over the place. Dang it. What was that? No one ever comes and visits me. Okay. So it better not be a trick. It's not. It's no talents. Revenue. It's many people meeting a horrible and cruel death today. Alright. Let's find our way through. Six enemies over there, and they're pointing at somebody. It looked like Revelio. This occurred to me that the haziness might be supposed to be simulated smoke or something coming up. It's me almost looks like they're playing a video or something. It's weird. Really Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? We'll go invisible again. It's been kind of fun zapping everybody. Look, Revenue. they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Okay, well we got all the units we can hold. <laughs> Hello, Amora. Watching the egg puffing out a little bit of fire is pretty funny. Flame, maybe. Really. Uh oh, it's rockets when take off. Look out. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. One foot in front of the next and quiet as can be. Revelio. Sounds like a dance. One foot in front of the next and quiet as can be. Click it for some reason, that was just like. Okay, that guy's gonna be out of here. Missing one, I'm just gonna notice me. Is totally Bombarder. 
Get out our uh, nice, unforgivable things. Oopsie. Oh, it's charging. Okay, let's see. That's what you get for dragon pitcher. Horribly cursed. Oh, that's just going on. Do we get away now? That's awesome. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. 
Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Rebellion. Hmm. We have a new death box. See, that's gotta be what these are, right? Oh. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Confringo! Bombarder! There we go. Incendio. Nope. Oh, they're gonna get me. I can't get out fast enough. Don't wanna fight them in the mud pit because they'll surely win. Kaboom. How about a little lightning frog? Alright. Yeah, that totally reminded me of the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. Uh, let's see. Click the Field Guide page in Underground Harbor. Click the Field Guide page from the book on Intermediate Transfiguration in the Library. Eh, maybe later. I'm just afraid to advance to the main story too quickly. I'd love to collect a few more things before getting too much further. So... Oh, why not one of these things? I wonder if I've already done that one. That might be a quick win. I don't remember seeing these side quests on the map before, but... I don't know. I haven't been side questing doing, very much lately. Doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should <laughs> be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. Okay, let's see. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done.
Okie dokie. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Tell my god, torture the troll with Crucio. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Oh. I really do have to turn it down, huh? Like there had to have been more. Saved from that troll. I gotta say, this uh, is a little messed up. Progress notes week one, etiquette may have been too ambitious to start. It seems we must first cover the fundamentals of not smashing. We'll keep this in mind, but proceed to week two. Still vicious. Week two, only produce a string of grunts. Still vicious. Week three, he has a right to permit for it, but he will lash this out indiscriminately. Somehow more vicious? Rebellion. Troll lesson plan week one. Social graces and etiquette. Please, thank you, pardon me, Sarn. Sorry, week two, elocution, which went flying for the cinch and fell in ditch. Week three, security training. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, paid the troll toll there. Wonder who lives here. Well, Alexandra does. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much you could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Whisperer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Whisperer. Seems fitting. Alright. <laughs> hey, is this a house hall? Yeah, it's up, buddy. Revelio. I guess he's Alan thought to me. Let's read this house while I read it, though. I feel like we've been by her house for another mission too, but maybe I'm 
confusing her with somebody else because they had a similar house layout. I could see that being the case. Rebellion. Hmm. What is this here? That's just the warp. It's like and a place right out of a storybook. Let's go see what this other mission is. I think we have time for at least one more. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Okay, we'll worry about that another time. Let's see this mission. You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um, what was it? Troll, slayer, or vanquisher? Whisperer? No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Oh, wow. 153 away. I think that sounds like a place to do as a uh, warp for. Okay. Wow, there's actually an undiscovered warp that would be pretty close to it, so I guess I'll just fly to it and begin with. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Yet again, I'm spies another orb that I haven't unlocked. It's crazy. Oh, we're gonna run into the world boundary. Imagine these branches just smacking in the face. Be painful. Who lived here, I wonder? I don't know, Bob. I need any help. I do hate to ask, but would you be able to help what me? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins. That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, 
Use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> you don't have room for Wiganwell. And I've you to thank. <laughs> Please, nope. accept this gift in exchange for your help. I did have room. Okay, then. Okay, now this is 249 away. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Yeah, we're gonna get loud and ready on this one. Fires best left alone. Eliminated. I don't think so, buddy. Hmm. Your poaching days are over. I don't know when he said fighting with veg. Is he referring to the Crucio like being a green spell on our charts? Is he playing a game too? Hmm. Puzzling. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Hello, Hamora. Oh, you know what? Before I do this, let me get my bag out. And my spell. Let's get out the bag. And there we go. Aloha Mora. The swooper's coming home with me. Especially if it's shiny. Oh no, you're kidding me. Oh, there it is. Alright. Come on, Bob. Right now. You got him, Bob. Revelio. Nope. Oh, here's a page. Doxy egg. Stolen by poachers for use in potions, these black eggs come from a doxy, a magical beast sometimes mistaken for a fairy. Alright. Let's see. Is this a Merlin trial or what is this? I think it's gotta be part of the Merlin trial. We'll leave you alone and come back for it later. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hmm. Okay, this is far off again, so let's see. Okay, good. I'll be there in just a couple of minutes. Maybe quite literally two. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other of Chinese Nope. Sorry, you were born. You fight about the words of well, darn. I should probably take out one of these guys that has a shield first. Oh, 
Alright, let's see. Where are our other Fringo bolt that shoots over is awesome. It's really enjoyable. Rebellion. Okay, I think that's our next set of cabbages. What do we have here? I don't expect there is more of it in Duff and Felcroft. Do not return until you found it. Do not demands an update. Have you found it? Report back immediately. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Okay. Let's get this over with. Go ahead and take out these two jokers. I do me a Protego that's in there. Oh, nice. Blast them into each other. That was a pretty big hit. <laughs> I'm not surprised they do like a puking animation of the way you do all this tossing around to people. It's awful. Oops. Didn't ascend quite fast enough. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend Eddie? Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Okay, let's see. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Let's go ahead and sell everything that's not legendary. Pleasure doing business with you. We don't want to be worth trying on. Anyways. Okay, almost through this. Hmm, it's still value at 90, so I think I'll go ahead and trash it anyways because we know that we're holding out for legendary. Have I mentioned so. you're welcome to stop by any time? Okay, at this point, I think it'd probably be good to go ahead and warp over to uh, room and requirement to wrap up for the day. We'll get inside, collect everything, might even 
pay a visit to the uh, Fantastic Beast. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's take our visibility potion. I need to find a good use for those. Like, I need to take them to combat with me or something to see what happens. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Okay. Now, let's double check our gear and see if we need to try anything on. I don't think we do, though. Okay. Let's go check our plants. I think it will need a little bit of just about everything. We might start to brew a couple potions here if we're lacking. Let's go see. Well, looks like maximum potion and Endurus. We could do about one Endurus. It only takes 30 seconds, so that'll be over pretty quickly. Let's see, we're already full on focus potion too, so that's nice. Um, Duris is just about halfway done. A lot of pretty little mandrakes. Um, we could go ahead and get this assigned. So we can do around with the animals. Oops. I don't know why, but I always get a little cross-eyed, I think, when I look at this particular menu. And the, uh... Something about the similar shade and I guess orientation of the bag and the little back rubbing thing, um, the brush. They just look a little too similar. Get your cuddles. Get your cuddles. Okay. Come here, kitty. Scheme and we need to interact with a flooper. Come on, max efficiency. Let's go, let's go. Okay, oops, wrong button. Let's see, where are we at? Okay, we got them all. Good. And. See, do we want to put this other flooper in here? It's a male. Okay, I'll take this one out because it looks a little bit more interesting than this other color. So let's put it back. Professor Howen will never believe and this. And as far as the pusking goes, it is a male. We already have a male, so that yeah, that'll be the one we sell. Maybe the next stream we'll do that. I'll just finish this round of care, and we'll call it a day. Sure. Wish that all the biomes could have adjustable light, kind of like the Rainbow Requirement does itself. 
It'd be so nice to be able to just uh, set it exactly how you want it to look. Actually, kind of surprised they don't have more customization in here. But maybe they will one day. Hear a call. It's repeating itself. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Come on, little Niffler. Cute little beastie. There we go. Portego. Oops. They need Portego. Uh, looks like another deer call needs to be collected from. Where is it? Is it here? Yeah. Okay. I think everything is nurtured. Yep. Let's have to double check the era. Thought I saw something else, but nope. Okay. Now back upstairs. Scary horse. I think the unicorn's a little scary too. I mean, look at that. It's pretty aggro. Alright, Toad. Yeah. The unicorn is refusing to let me interact. I know I did the right thing about a hundred times and it just would not let me do anything. It's pretty funny. Oh, I think it's stuck. Nope. Thought I'd do one more round. If there's see anything left to pick up. Huh, fertilizer. Put some fertilizer on some of our weapons plants too. It'd be fun. I like it, we have two of each now. All right, one more. All right, good, good. That's feeling pretty good for today, so I think it. We'll go ahead and pause here. And roll the credits. Say thanks for watching. It's been S T R Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.